I'm Aditya and I'm back with another robot to show you. This one is called the Minecube 3R and as you can probably see in the name, it can solve a Rubik's Cube. Now, let's get on with exploiting with it. Here are the parts of here are the simple parts of the simplest parts of this cube solver. It might seem very um, complicated, but it's actually a bit simpler, simple, with only four parts. Anyway, now this is the scanner. As you can probably see, it scans the cars of the cube. It's, it scans this first state, then launches for the middle one. And then this tilt arm flips the cube. And then, and then the infrared sensor, which is this. I added some ears to it. It senses before all of that happens, it looks at the cube and it tells when to inside the cube and when to take it out. Anyway, uh, let, me, let me tell you which motor they're connected to. This is the medium motor. It is connected to this scanner and the car sensor is also, also connected to it. As you can see, it has a light. Now, this, let's move on to the tilt arm. It has a large motor. It's a bit bigger than the medium one. And as you may not be able to see here, a large motor also powers this. It is the turntable. Now, let me get on with the cube solving and all that. Now, there are two types of cubes that you might want. This is the cube you might want. And this, not so good. Force and cars won't really work. Now I'm going to put this cube aside. We're going to work with it and see what's hap what happens later. And anyway, let's let this run this. Remove cube, and then it says insert cube. It's calculated the moves. Hi, I'm Aditya and I'm back. There is some, there is a troubleshooting issue with the um, cube in the first run. Now, anyway, it, the time it took me to build this robot, at, at all entirely out of Legos, was two days, and it took me. Um, not an additional three days, but just half a day to troubleshoot. And speaking of troubleshooting, here's here's the real problem to me. It like this piece was loose and it was flopping when um, this arm was moving. And anyway, let's get on with solving the cube. It's warming up. Oh, yep, yeah. it's scanning the cube. Now you can finally watch these in action, whoever is watching. Solving the cube now. Which means the first part of this was good. Now it's solving the cube. I bet so. Soon enough you're gonna see a cool Rubik's cube.
It solved the cube. It has solved.